first applied to Southampton um, because of the reputation, but when I visited the campus, I ended up choosing it because I just felt so welcomed by um, the staff and everyone who I met there. Um, and I loved the, the campus and the general feel of the whole environment. Facilities are really, really good, especially since they've been upgraded. Um, in my first two years, they were still very good, but in my third and fourth, they were exceptional, especially um, the group uh, working space up in Zeppler. I spent a lot of my life there. One of the major highlights has been the friends that I've made on the courses. Um, we worked together in, like, throughout the four years I've studied here, and um, that has made, meant I've been able to make really, really good friendships. Um, my final year has also been really, really interesting, and um, really interesting, especially my final year project, which is really fun. So the project I was um, given was to create um, an integrated secondary flight display to work, uh, working for a company called Mega Avionics. Um, it was really, really interesting, quite challenging. So I got involved in a scheme called the Power Academy, which um, is a, an organisation organised by the IET uh, and is in partnership with a lot of power companies and um, engineering universities. And so I was uh, given um, the opportunity to apply to this scheme in my first year and I was um, hired by National Grid in that for three summer placements and then at the end of my final summer placement I was offered a job onto their grad scheme, um, which I wouldn't have been able to because there's only a few universities that offer this scheme and so if I hadn't been able to go to Southampton I wouldn't have been able to get onto that scheme. I think the one word that sums up my time at Southampton is exceptional. Thank you.